What the hell's this? There's a phone. The phone. What's going on? What the hell? Alexa. They don't need to be here. Walking ringside. The phone does not need to be here. Mofo, the Forbidden Warriors. Yeah, keep them oh. away from me. What's happening here? What's happening here? Why is he in a suit? Why does Mofo have a microphone? Ring the bell. Ring the bell. Mofo's instructing the bell Don't ring the bell. He's not in charge. He's not in charge. Don't ring it. Do not ring the bell. Referee Bo Brown is confused. He just rung the bell? Mofo. It's on the referee's decree. What? There's no what way. What you have in your hands, Dr. Fieldman, is a legal injunction. What? What the heck? You see, Dr. Feelbad, you were within your rights last month to appoint a replacement for Nick Taylor. You were not within your rights to appoint a suspended wrestler into that spot. Oh my God, are you kidding me? This is unbelievable. When Chris Taylor refereed the Mofos match with Shane Andrews, you signed the contract, he signed the contract. Call the match right down the middle. Don't lay one finger on the Mofo or you're suspended. So congratulations on this great contest you guys have been having. Too bad it never happened. Hey. You know, the Feel Bad Five has done some crazy things, but you've got to be the biggest coward that's ever walked into this room. Thank you. Good. Sticks and stones may break my bones, Feel Bad, but my lawyer is better than yours. You have no right to hold up this show like that. You know, this is a legal document. You see, feel that I do have the right, because I have a great attorney. And since you're going to try to cut me off, let the mofo explain it to you. Since I you appointed a suspended wrestler into the title match last month, what happens if a college football team or a college basketball team uses an ineligible player? They vacate their victories. So let me be the oh first to announce. Oh my God! Still, the RWA Heavyweight Champion, representing the fold, the Wise Guy, Jimmy Cicero. Oh God! Do not give that belt back to these bastards, please. And don't let it be said that the fold is not fair. As part of that injunction, anybody involved in this case can't be here tonight. So Jimmy Cicero is representing the fold down in North Carolina. He couldn't be here. But hey, that means you and you, you gotta go too. You're both out of here. Gentlemen, it breaks my heart to say this, but if you still want to work for RWA, this match is null and void, and you not Are only, you according to this document, and I'll let you have it. I'll, I'll make photocopies of it. You both have to leave. You both have to leave. <laughs> what that moron didn't realize, when I walked out here last month with this null and void, I'm still the number one contender. Yes, you are. And somehow, you son of a bitch, on December 5th, I'm gonna figure out how to work him in, him in if I can, and you're going to pay next month right here, within an inch of your life, to the legal goddamn limit you're gonna pay. Do you understand me? Get the hell out of my building. Go to the back. Go to the back. You have your way, you coward. You filthy cowards, every one of you. Get to the damn back. Nobody wants to see you or hear you talk. Go! This is the biggest travesty I've ever seen in RWA history. How it in the hell shit. can you do 
do this. You have to not only go to the back, Chris, please. I, listen. Please. Chris, I don't blame you for pushing him. No, it's not my fault. And you know we're together on this. Don't let them divide us. This is psychology, reverse psychology to divide us. Period. Period. And I'm not going to let it happen. I'm not going to let it happen. I promise. But if you don't, not only go to the back, but if you don't leave the building, we're going to get hauled into court. You're going to be in court. You're going to be in court because he's a wimp and a coward and a pussy. Wow. That was just said on RWA ground. The way I feel right now, I'll fight you myself. Hang on a minute. You might want to add an S at the end of Taylor. Because when this is all said and done, first off, Brother, you gave me one hell of a fight tonight in violent rights. You should have had it, I think. And I guarantee you we'll get a chance to do it again. But when it's all said and done, the smoke is cleared. Maybe the Bad Boys Club, Chris Taylor, and some other peeps, the fold is going down one way or another. There's nothing anyone can do about it. You've heard it for too long. Welcome to the Wreck Your Life Tour. I cannot believe what I have just seen. This is the biggest travesty ever in RWA history. Unbelievable.